cervical cancer is a problem in Rwanda because it's a silent killer. It's a virus that attacks the cervix and... They don't feel that they have a cancer and most of the time when they come it's too late. <laughs> And when they are screened positive for a cancer, the treatment is also very expensive. We have in our national budget what it takes to set four sites in Rwanda. And we have already a site that is fully functional. For 11 million of people, it's peanuts. So the best way to do is prevention. First of all, it's less painful and in the long run, it's less costly. As you know, Rwanda is a country that uh, likes to think out of the box. When one of us learns that there is an opportunity to prevent a disease as a public health measure, we always go for it. It was the first time that we had a big campaign around cancer. So we had to start right because it was not one and it's finished. It was a start and to continue over years. HP vaccine had been introduced here in Rwanda at least one, two years ago. And this month in October, we are going to deliver the third dose of HP vaccine. How we involve teachers, how we can uh, do it rapidly uh, across the country in the respect of the school chain and in the respect of quality care. For this uh, third round, we distributed uh, 135,000 doses of HPV vaccines. To make this campaign a success, we had sensitization period of three months. We have encouraged and skilled teachers to speak. Success, no cancer, et comment nous distribuons le vaccin, et comment le vaccin va agir pour lutter contre le cancer du col itérien. And have uh, an outreach to vaccine the children at school. Jamais ma fille pour protéger les cette maladie. So we are going to see a decline in death, in hospitalization, and an economic impact of that. First of all, what we like, Gavi Trust. I like that. Gavi has, has developed uh, its uh, HPV program in collaboration with the Alliance Partners. So the partners we work with include WHO, UNICEF, IARC, PATH, and during the implementation phase we hope to work also very closely with UNFPA, UNAIDS, UICC and other organizations involved in the field. They come, they have evaluators, and they say, yes, those people are capable. They know the burden is there, it's a silent killer, and vaccines need to be introduced as rapidly as possible. My wish is that all the girls get that vaccination from cervical cancer, because it's a really bad disease, and I hope no girl ever gets it.